Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out two new Insider preview builds. First of all, for the beta channel, build 26120.3950. And for the dev channel, build 26200.5581. And both these builds rolled out yesterday on the 5th of May. And both of these builds are mirror images of one another. They contain the exact same features and fixes. So just to combine it into one quick video, just to keep you posted as to what's happening in the Insider program. Now, first of all, there's a new energy saver, which is now available in Microsoft Intune. So this new feature, this first new feature, is mainly for corporations and enterprises with IT administrators. With Microsoft saying that it's bringing the ability to manage energy saver in Windows 11 to Microsoft Intune, to allow IT administrators to control the energy saver settings on Windows 11 PCs through group policies and mobile device management configurations. So Microsoft says that when this feature is enabled, it intelligently balances your battery use so it can last longer between charges. It extends battery life by managing power usage efficiently. It also limits, Microsoft says, background activity and reduces screen brightness, ensuring that devices consume less power while maintaining optimal performance. And they also say that by automatically managing system processes and power usage, the energy saver group policy helps reduce overall energy consumption. Microsoft says that this not only saves costs, but also contributes to environmental sustainability. And Microsoft mentions that IT admins can activate the policy by using two methods. First of all, Microsoft Intune Admin Center or Local Group Policy Editor in Windows 11, what we are looking at currently in this image. And the path for the new policy configuration can be found at in Local Group Policy Editor by navigating to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, System Power Management, Energy Saver Settings. And here is the toggle for that set setting. Enable Energy Saver to always be on. And that's the applied setting. And I think that's a nice move for IT admins in those different environments. And then the next change I'm just going to mention because Microsoft says it's trying out different treatments of the user interface in Recall, including trying out different locations for snapshot actions and the timeline. And as I've mentioned previously, Recall now has started rolling out um, to the general public after many months of testing after Microsoft pulled um, Recall due to negative feedback um, in regards to security and privacy. So still doing a little bit of work on that in the Insider program. And then Microsoft says there's an update for the taskbar and system tray where it has adjusted the needy state poll under apps on the taskbar that need attention to be wider and more visible. And what we're looking at here is a wider needy state pull. You are showing the Microsoft Teams on the taskbar indicating the app needs attention. So that's a small little user interface tweak and adjustment. And then the last one just to mention for the purpose of this video is an improvement to graphics where Microsoft says it's introducing some improvements for managing HDR capabilities of your PC under settings, system, display, HDR. And there are three main changes, as we can see in the highlighted area, where Microsoft says, first of all, it has changed the wording for use HDR inside display capabilities to improve clarity on supported media types. And then secondly, on PCs with Dolby Vision displays, it has added the option to toggle, as we can see, Dolby Vision mode independently from HDR. With Microsoft saying you can now enjoy HDR with Dolby Vision either on or off based on your preference, which I think is a nice move, always open to options and preferences. And then the third setting on PCs with HDR displays, Microsoft says it's added the option to allow HDR video streaming even when HDR is off in settings. So a couple of nice improvements there. 
And then over and above those new features and changes and improvements, there's a couple of fixes that have rolled out for both builds, which are identical. And then each build has its separate list of known issues because known issues are quite common in these early preview builds. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.